Twitch. Oh, you know we're that? here. Like we're gonna solve a crime. To a flame. You have come <laughs> back once more to watch the penultimate episode of Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Yeah. We'll get no, wait, this is the done. ultimate episode, not the penultimate. No, we're yet. probably Last not episode. gonna finish tonight. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that. Says you, <laughs> I believe in us. Do you? Uh, I mean, I tweeted that- speed running the, the rest of this. Yeah, that'd be really hard. <laughs> yeah. Here, look, look at how fast I can talk. <laughs> oh no. Well, you better pay attention. <laughs> oh god, okay, got it. I, you have all my attention. I'm, I'm in it to win it, guys. Hell yeah. Let's get into it and see how much we can uh, get done today. <laughs> yeah. Rise from the ashes, <gasps> much like a phoenix! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. February. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why that got me? Sorry, immediately George. Edgeworth's face. <laughs> I'm immediately apologizing to him. Yeah. Sorry, Edgeworth. Sitting here all day. <laughs> I didn't mean to get you in trouble. <sighs> Don't worry about it. You seem kind of mad. He's like, yeah, you I'm did all the same, mad. Phoenix. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> This is my problem, not yours. Even though I'm slightly involved. <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals! Would hate uh, that! Would hate getting in between you two forever. Pushes them apart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna between. squeeze on in here between ya! <laughs> uh, <sighs> oh! <laughs> Guess I am! I'll come back later. Aw, oh, good boy. Oh, oh sad. Oh, bring him back! Bring him back! Wait, Detective Gumshoe. What is it? He's like the family dog. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve, pal! Making the detective run all around- ah, run around- run all around while on duty! There you go. <laughs> and to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals! Damn, okay. I take it Lana's having you run errands again? Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal! Here, she asked me to give this to you. If there were- if there was a way to break into the- if there was a break in today's trial. Oh. Is this evidence bird. law for children? Yeah, it's got a little Sherlock burger on it. That's really cute. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you might need this. It helped me a lot when I was a kid. Damn. <laughs> when she was studying. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. As a child. <laughs> Evidence law. Edgeworth was talking about this just the other day. Weird. I wonder why yeah. she's giving me this right now. You know evidence law, Phoenix. You must know the two rules of evidence law. He doesn't! He's dumb! Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Hmm. <laughs> it seems so. You could at least study some evidence law, really! Did you even go to law school? Nope. <laughs> The chief prosecutor also wanted me to give you a massage. I mean, a message. Oh. <laughs> um, message? Yes. Message. She said, if you're planning to take him on, you're going to need this book. Is there something hidden in it? The guy from the Powerpuff Girls? Yep, him. I guess I'm just as lost this as you. Thorough read. I hope this break is long enough for me to read the whole book. There's only three <laughs> pages. Explains the two rules of evidence law. Yeah, there's only it's three really pages. Fun. The intro. <laughs> this is basically two rules one of rule evidence two. law. Page yeah. one, rule one. Page two, rule two. <laughs> <laughs> this could just be a pamphlet. <laughs> but we hard covered it. Yeah. Doesn't look Make like that book will do you any 
Hmm? Doesn't look like that book will do you any good now, though. On account that you can't read. Damn. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's a weird thing to assume. I can't read. That's where you're <laughs> wrong, detective. I can read! What? Congratulations, right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting in that prosecutor's seat? Despite all these allegations being thrown at me? Mr. Richworth. <laughs> Stop breathing so close to me. Stand over there by the couch. Well, the real you. trial today hasn't begun yet. What? What else is there left to do? God damn, this game is long. Okay. Your credibility's been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. Hmm. Emma Sky found out she's unwittingly caused a man's death. And now, you're telling me you wanna do more? Yeah, now we're gonna implicate you. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna oh, throw you totally under the bus. Fair, pal. Honestly, I would really last in prison a lot longer. They give you three square meals and a roof. <laughs> Oh no! Two more things than I get every day. Jeez. No! <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. <laughs> yeah, take that. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. It's fucked up, but not a crime. That means the <laughs> real killer is still out there. Right. What? <laughs> and we're going to expose him. No matter what it takes. Yeah, I gotta find the truth. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. Phoenix Wright. People looks right at Edgeworth. Phoenix <laughs> Wright. Trauma healer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's his whole job. True law, not therapy. Right. <laughs> Legal trauma healer. Therapy's too hard. It's time to learn law. <laughs> the court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Oh. You guys like that? I figured yeah, it made yeah. it more interesting. I did. Mr. Like, yeah. Edgeworth! Ugh, he's not here. Yes, Your mm -hmm. Honor. <laughs> he is here. I see him. His little cravat. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. Hello. <laughs> May you take your heads? <laughs> May I take your statement, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yes, your honor. <laughs> the inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. See? Just the worst. They're gonna throw you in the gulag. Oh no. no. Whatever will <laughs> I do. Bows. Thank you for the news, Your Honor. Are you sassing me? No! Why would I ever do that? I got ways of dealing with sass! <coughs> yes, well... <coughs> Normally, this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness. Mm -hmm. But, uh... <coughs> Grandpa, you okay? I'm dying. No, Grandpa! This isn't easy to say. You see, there is some concern that you, Miss Michael Edgeworth, may have. Uh, ah. Stop beating around the bush, old man. Struck a bargain. Dude's kind of being a bitch now. <laughs> yeah, I am. He's, he's I, I was just gonna say. Up. I was gonna say <laughs> faked your hairline, but sure. What? <laughs> That it I won't take lying Thank you. <laughs> it's the straightest thing about him. I didn't, yeah. yeah, I was gonna. I, I didn't mean heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> you think I may have manipulated the witnesses? I didn't say that. <laughs> Trudy, strike that from the record. It's just uh, you ever see? Trudy. <laughs> yeah, Trudy's the. Uh, 
the 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 yeah no i know who she is the stenographer stenographer i got there i was waiting to she could figure it out I, for whatever reason, thought it started with a C and was searching oh. my word for- And I, I, I landed on car cartographer and I went, that's oh. maps! <laughs> you were almost there. close. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you see, everyone has been talking and- uh... People talk all the time. Very well, your honor. I have a solution. Uh, a solution? Of course. That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth further witnesses. Hmm. In your That's hands, fucking Phoenix. wild! What? But th there's no precedent for what you're proposing! And? <laughs> Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement. A very effective one. Saved us a lot of time. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Mm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? Do well, you want to be the big boy what calls the witnesses? <laughs> Just because I call him in doesn't mean he hasn't talked to them beforehand, because I've never talked to these people, and... <laughs> yeah. Who are you people? <laughs> Unbelievable. He's pushing his work off on me! You're never grateful, Mr. Wright. Hensworth <laughs> has found a way to continue the trial. I guess I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Good. Sustained! Then it's settled. The, uh... Defense... <laughs> May now call forth the next witness! God, I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Actually, you should probably retire, Judge. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me! <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's you! See, I'm pointing at you, Mr. Wright. <laughs> He's never do... had to call the witness before! He's not <laughs> paying attention! <laughs> right. You do realize this is your last chance. You called the wrong witness. This trial is as good as over. This is your last chance to impress me and move on to the next round. <laughs> the next level. <laughs> the defense calls. The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. That man. That man right there. We're calling that one. Yet already? <laughs> yeah, we want to talk to Meekins. He's the mastermind behind all of this. Call the corpse to the stand! <laughs> <laughs> Drag him out here! Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. You what can't, Gant! Did it out! Damon Gant! What does he have to do with anything? May I remind you that's my husband? Yeah, and he's a criminal. Since when? Since who? Since As now. the defendant's partner two years ago. Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. <laughs> As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? True. <laughs> All right. Bailiff, please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. I snapped All like right. a queen. Here we go. Beginning of the end. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? Yeah. I was just on my way to lunch. Your name and occupation, sir. I love that this just keeps happening to him. Yeah. <laughs> no one Nobody ever will ever to tell him anything. There was like one person that answered the question immediately. 
Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> Worthy. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Your name and occupation. Man, nobody respects you, Edgeworth. I'm leaving this courtroom. <laughs> As you should. You want to play hardball, eh? Would want to be difficult. P please, Mr. Gant, honey. <laughs> Fine. My name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Gant, the court requests to hear your testimony. Oh, righto. What's with the grim face? <laughs> you know First, what. let's clear up this SL9 incident. Ignored. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean that time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Wow. Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. How do you know? You are there are still some things unaccounted for. Oh? Like what? Like the role you played in all of this. <laughs> Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. Both! Oh. Cock's gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both. <laughs> you are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Hey, you're not supposed to come in here with a gun. Yeah. Or also, not supposed to come in here with threats. Yeah, or threatening people <laughs> in front of everybody. <laughs> weapons. Sure. Take my testimony, for example. Yeah. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? I is that true? No, it's not. Did you read the book? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. And that's the only person with that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the law got passed somewhere after our wedding. <laughs> Resigning a huh. paper or something. Hmm. Cool. Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. Don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Sure. Just back remember. Teeth. If this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Very well. The witness now may may now begin his testimony. He will. Judge puts his elbows on the on the stand and is kicking his little feet. <laughs> As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. The power that power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently, she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Is that when Dark was arrested? Um, he was lying on the floor unconscious. Interesting. <laughs> when Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. Oh. <laughs> it was pretty nice. dark in there, after all. <laughs> oh, honey. I see. Everything seems pretty clear cut. Yeah, totally. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. Oh my. Phoenix, that's my husband! <laughs> You've already got one. I'm gonna use my fists. <laughs> oh, don't- don't hit him. <laughs> I was joking. Or at least I don't aim for the word. face. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> As a- uh, Oh, yeah. <clears throat> at- Nice. At- As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Uh, you're gonna present the jar. 
Yeah, that one. The jar. The, the jar. jar. <laughs> Present the cum jar. No! <laughs> you claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. <sighs> Gasp. Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. That's the blue badger you showed us earlier! Oh my god. It's, so it's a jar. <laughs> it's a jar. <laughs> a piece of this jar was discovered in your safe. Rot row. Not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. It was found where? You see, Chief Gant, these articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation. <gasps> oh my god. Chief Gant! What is the meaning of this? Oh. Here's a defense attorney who may even rival Worthy. So you admit to it then? That you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Or do you mean you? Oh no. Yeah. Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. Huh. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorneys can do so, too. Isn't that right, Raito? However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. What? What? If Detective Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying to work. <laughs> Damn. Yes, well... He's making minimum wage. <laughs> In like light of the detective's presence... Please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office. And their relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene, honey. My, my. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. They're all yeah, on their do. TikToks and their... <laughs> something else. <laughs> You're so right! <laughs> they're all on their TikToks and their insta -hoos. <laughs> And their exes <sighs> or something. Ew. Let's see. What was it now? And a hubs. jar fragment <laughs> and a list? For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? When investigating the crime scene... Mm, no. You should have been more careful to observe protocol, dummy. Well, I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. Yeah. You do understand that I'm the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. Yeah, but oh. for how much longer? Indeed, I believe I will press charges, so you won't make the same mistake again. That's assuming you win this. <laughs> Mr. Gant. <laughs> my, my apologies, Chief Honey Bunny, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that, please? I'm almost done with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, and I would just really love a break. <laughs> the way that you talk to him, it kind of sounds like a conflict of interest. 
yeah. violating ethics and all that. Overruled! What? <laughs> um, <but laughs> this whole courtroom's out of order! Uh, it's pretty quiet in here. Today is, well, you know. Yeah, what? What is it? What is it? Twirls his finger in his beard hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Yeah? Uh... All right, Uji. In return, though. I know, I know. Oh my god. That place, right? I forgot about this dialogue. But... <laughs> huh? What are these guys? Telepathic? <laughs> That's what it is. Worse, they're married. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that could be you and me, right? But you're playing. Mm -hmm. Playing this game, right. Ace Attorney. Exactly. At rearranging the crime scene. You're going to press him. Oops. Really, Chief Gant? <laughs> At the very least, there is one very large benefit you've reaped from all this. Oh, I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? That would, of course, be the position you have. Chief of Police. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The resolution of the SL9 incident secured your promotion to, chi to chief. That in itself is a sufficient motive. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's a good one. Right? Uh, do you really think I'm that incompetent? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. I said secured, not putting yourself in line. <laughs> the resolution of the SL of SL9 merely sped up the inevitable a little. Is that true, Edgeworth? Uh, yes. He was going to be made chief anyway. Hey. <laughs> be careful when pointing that finger, or you might end up being the one pointed at. We pointed to each other all day. So that means... It's our love language. Yes. See, I'm doing it right now. There's only <laughs> one possible motivation for you to commit forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Got him. Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. Oh, God, I think I we nailed it. Anything for anybody. <laughs> there are only three people I look out for: me, myself, and I. Oh, read. There, it's out in the open now. Uh, gee, would you mind if I changed my testimony a little? Uh, by all means, please do. <laughs> blink, blink, <laughs> blink. Uh, press this statement. <clears throat> Nothing in it for you? Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly. Who's that? That, that girl. <laughs> Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you'd better think again. You're right. You don't feel sorry for anyone. Be tough on crime, and tough on people. That's how I was raised. Sounds like abuse! <laughs> you seem to be lax enough on yourself, though. <laughs> oh, that's Damn. a good one, Worthy. This guy's gonna bust mm. a gun. laughing so hard. I don't think that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> really, Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> Could there have been something in it for him? Could there have been? Given his selfishness, would he have helped someone out? Uh, point out in a campolis. True, you might not help out anyone for their sake. 
But if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Mr. Wright! <laughs> it appears you're positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. Ah, that's exactly it. Good. Um, God, this man. <laughs> that's not what I mean. You're such a good boy, Phoenix. Very um, well, then. Thanks, sir. The judge is fucking senile. <laughs> See now what? I'm 41! What? <laughs> um... Who is this person you believe Chief Grant may have helped to forge evidence? I and wonder so... who it could be. Yeah, it was Meekins. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Lana. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> it was Meekins. It all comes back to air. Meekins. I knew it! <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky, don't yeah. offend it. Wow, <laughs> you're such a good old man. <laughs> Thank you. I live with one. I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. <laughs> Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister Lana? And, as for Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Oh, man. Self-profit? Uh, what do you mean? After the SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed Chief Prosecutor at the Prosecutor's Office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. Mm hmm But, but, how, how would he profit from all of this? He would be able to use the Chief Prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. Mean to tell me that despite the chief's formidable appearance, stop flattering him. <laughs> he plays with puppets. Oh my god, are you being obtuse for no reason? Oh my god, I may have a conflict of interest. Yeah. Hello, Incredible. ego. Well, hello. Welcome, ego. To the I'm judge. married. <laughs> Our room Nobody is la silent! Nobody Jesus. laughed at my joke. Uh, oh, wait! You know, you must mean puppet, as in someone forced to do his bit. Never mind! <laughs> I really do love the judge, but oh my god. <laughs> Admit it, Chief. <laughs> you assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive to appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. <gasps> right oh my boy! Oh, so you admit I was right! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Wrong, oh my boy! That's not my you name! Have, you have quite an imagination. Let me Sponge ask you boy something. Me, Bob. <laughs> what? Do you have any proof of this? That I controlled Lana? Uh, Judge and Gant are the ones that are married in our lore. Yeah. Yeah. I finally married Sierra somehow. <laughs> I said I'd do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? Lana. She's keeping quiet to protect Emma, but it's too late! There's no way she'd testify against Gant. I'm afraid without any proof. This all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. Unless... 
unless. No, no, not unless. Uh-uh. <laughs> unless that is also what happened in this incident. This incident. Uh, <laughs> which one would that be? <laughs> we do have like three incidents overlapping. Yeah, there's a lot of incidents happening. Exactly. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Of He's course. Innocent. I'm talking about the murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. The chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Worthy. You'd better watch your tongue. I refuse. I, I wouldn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> that was a very obvious threat. Just <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. <gasps> Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. Yeah. Get him! What? <laughs> order! 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 I said order! Whoa! Order yourself, <laughs> sir. Please. Wow. You're an ass. I'm Damn. begging you. Stop yelling, <laughs> Mr. Wright. You, you can't be serious. Huh? Yes. This is an affront to the highest ranking officer in, law, in our law enforcement agency and my husband. And to to accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder. Oh no, to accuse a police of murder? That's oh I, no. I, 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 impossible! <laughs> uh, your honor. I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edgeworth said in easier to understand language. <laughs> Don't you pin this on me. <laughs> it's too late, Mr. Wright. <laughs> huh? There's no turning back for us now. Us. Us. It looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. Do you prove this, Mr. Wright? Huh? You think that the chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder? Good question. <laughs> Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. I see. All right, then. Let's see what Mr. Wright's got. And it better be good. Yes, it better be good, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, present the ID card record. Sydney, do you want to read this line while I look for the record that's way back here? Sure, show us the evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. <laughs> Immediate take that. Yeah. This is the ID card list. I've seen this! Yeah, look at it again. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was okay. one ID on the list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. 777-7777. <laughs> Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my card number. Sure we it's can. Your, it's your number. Sorry. What? How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven digits? You don't mean... 
You broke into his safe? Jesus. I'm afraid so, <laughs> Your Honor. The code was 777-7777. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. Chief Gant, you uh -oh. entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. Look at him, we got him stressed out. <laughs> His eyebrows twitching. <laughs> I've never yeah. seen him make that face. He's angry. Order! Order! Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Hm. Nothing. The defense's search of my office was in violation of regulations. <laughs> and I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. Aww. But babe... <laughs> oh, well... Conflict of interest! <laughs> hey! But right, but right now, this court <laughs> demands an explanation from you. About the use of this ID card. So, oh, you admit it? I haven't said anything yet. He admitted it. You entered the evidence room. On the day of the crime? What about it? I'm chief of police. Whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. <laughs> I can go to the bathroom in the evidence room. What does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> That's against health codes. <laughs> Tell me. When you entered the room, were you alone? See? I always <laughs> go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. See? See? <laughs> I wonder it smelled in there. <laughs> Weird that it smells like piss in there all the time. It's <laughs> always a wet spot in the one corner. <laughs> what is that? Detective Goodman wouldn't have happened to be with you that day, would he? Of course not. Why would he be? I Bad hadn't liar. seen him in days. Days? You hadn't seen him in days? Chief Gant. I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. Uh oh On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? <laughs> this trial's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. Yeah, we are. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Gant met the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence! What? Goodman's lost item report. I think it was that envelope. No, I think it's this thing. Yeah. You want to read this line, Sydney? <laughs> Show us proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the death of <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or, to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So, Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the Chief of Police. Yet you are in possession of the report. Curious. <laughs> Which means you can't be sure if he filed it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. 
He needed to. I already forgot what day that was. <laughs> yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh. Oh. Detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then, you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him? There's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Yep. Hold on. Let me guess what you're going to say next. <laughs> I, the chief of police, murdered poor Goodman. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but wait! The chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. So, choke on that. <laughs> he could have just lent him his ID card. Oh, okay. Protocols Nobody allow that. that? <laughs> yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the record, your card was only used once. Yet you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman, it would have been found on his body. No! Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Turned into lightning! <laughs> Holy crap! You undertailed him! <laughs> Chief Gant! <laughs> You did it! <sighs> the murder was most likely a spur of the moment crime, for no one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. Yeah. After the murder, you con contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. Hmm. <laughs> You're forgetting, Mr. Wright. That the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office's parking lot. In your car's trunk. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> How did he- I'm helping you, don't- <laughs> How did he manage to move it there? You always do this! Oh, <laughs> we're working together! on me, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, because you were forgetting something. We're working ladies, together. ladies, please! How is it an objection if you're just adding something? How am I supposed to interrupt you without objecting? <laughs> Fair point. I don't shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's not always about you. <laughs> it's not always about you either. False. It is about me. <laughs> <laughs> I am wow. mad we are not about Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Well, you're not a prosecutor. <laughs> Still, <laughs> you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Ah. Hey you, take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. And all this time I thought it was a, a useless clue just taking up space. <laughs> how could Chief- How could the Chief have moved the body? How? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence! To move the victim's body, Chief Gant used this. Remember that stupid thing he had Edgeworth take? Oh yeah, that fucking screwdriver. Yep. <laughs> For seemingly no reason. <laughs> Perfect. This is how he moved Detective Goodman's body. With a single screwdriver. <laughs> he put him inside right the it. screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's that? A screwdriver. 
What does this have to do with this case? What, what is going on? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, think mm -hmm. back to the day of the crime. What is this screwdriver doing here? <laughs> it's here because... <laughs> I didn't read my eye there. <laughs> it was just, ah! ah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, yeah. I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Hmm. After the ceremony ended that day... I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did. <laughs> yes. Because Chief Gant asked you to. <laughs> you mean I... I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. And... Coincidentally, by Edgeworth, who was driving no! the car. Ugh. Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car? Yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. <laughs> Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to transport evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Ms. Lana Sky. Oh boy. Order, order, order! What, what's going on here? <laughs> Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusations? Back to the photograph Miss Starr took at the prosecutor's office. This was. Oh, sorry. This was a not a photo. <laughs> this was a not, not a photo. Oh. This was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe your time's up. My time's up, babe. Sorry, right ho, <laughs> but I'm having lunch with the district attorney general after this. We have to get going if we're going to make it in time for the early bird, early bird special. <laughs> Old people. No, you gotta wait. <laughs> but, but the cross examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? This is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Hey! So you're going to just run away after all this? No way! Don't make me laugh, Worthy. <laughs> I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have pre presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Mm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. No, no, no. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. I really hit the T, so you know I'm serious. Oh. Well, Mr. Wright? <laughs> your Honor? Do you have any concrete proof? 
proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Skye di dispose of his body. Do I have any concrete proof? We do <laughs> not. It's no use showing evidence, I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor, at present I have no conclusive evidence. <clears throat> See, Uji. In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the chief. What? Here's a tip. Never gamble what you can't afford to lose, Righto. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Uji, I'll leave the rest to you. Oh, there he goes. I'll see you tonight. It's game <laughs> night. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> <sighs> I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an affront to a senior officer in our nation's law enforcement agency. What? <laughs> He objects to my screaming. Yes. <laughs> Lady Luck, hmm. Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? That's like a saying. It's not a real thing. There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth? Another witness! In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. But Chief Gant has invoked his right to refuse to testify. Did you just forget what you just said? <laughs> that there's yeah. another person that hasn't testified yet? <laughs> Catch up, Phoenix. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions. Raised in this trial. Someone, uh, all the questions raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Oh my god. <laughs> it could even be you. Mr. Edgeworth, <laughs> who is this elusive person? <laughs> Why are you asking me, your honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? Yeah. We may not be willing to tell the truth. We can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth... Yeah, that lady. Lanska. The defendant, Lana Sky. Yeah, man. Oh, really grasping at straws here. <laughs> she was in the underground parking lot at 5:15 p.m. on February 21st. Her task to dispose of the victim's body in accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth? What? No, it was Chief Gant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> <sighs> the prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony and then everybody can go... Home. <laughs> uh oh. Hold on. I did not see what the text was right before that. I didn't I... either, but it's okay. Huh? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> that was a that good was impression, impression, wasn't Atlanta. it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was great, honey. Did you read oh, Chief Gant! I thought you were gonna eat! 
this isn't good, Lana. Uh-oh. He's talking to Lana! I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claims, there will be terrible consequences. Why are you oh, gonna no. say that out loud? Looks a bit bad to me! In a courtroom. How stupid are everything. you? Nah, everything's above board. <laughs> He's We're about to go to recess. You could say that shit to her while we're on recess. I know. He's stupid. And then it'll wow, be a threat. Wow, a threat to the witness right in front of everybody. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. God damn it! <laughs> That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Wow, blackmail, right in front of everybody. That is, <laughs> yeah, that's open blackmail. You guys don't know what you're talking about. This, this is nothing. Oh my God. This is all above board. This is all legal. I'm a judge. I know the law. <laughs> but we're lawyers and we know the law. Did you go to lawyer school, judge? <laughs> I went to judge school, which is above lawyer school. Oh, we no. make the laws. I don't think that's true. I'm above the law! No, you're not! Oh. <laughs> of course, you'd never support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. Alright then, I've got a lunch date to meet. Whoa. Date! Got another date? <laughs> date? Okay. <laughs> if there aren't any further objections. This court is now in recess. Okay. I'm gonna go play in the jungle gym. He's already moping. <laughs> That's my default setting now. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah. Thanks to your help, Edgeworth. You're welcome. That chief. He's something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe. Well, oh, the family dog. <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore. <laughs> no. Oh, bud. Don't worry, oh, Gumshoe. Yeah. I'll adopt you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mr. Edgeworth, adopt me into your arms. I'll adopt you like a pet, but sure. <laughs> I mean, I, whatever you want, man! <laughs> I'll, I'll play the role! <laughs> okay, not like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry! I've already decided where to work now! At your office! Why is he, like, mad? Excuse me? <laughs> You're the one who did this to me, you son of a bitch! Take responsibility and give me a goddamn meal! <laughs> I can't even. I I I haven't taken. I had, this is my first case in months. <laughs> I don't have any money. No longer my problem. I'm your <laughs> dependent. No. Sure. And you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the place of that top knotted girl. What used to work with you? I was just a teenager that followed me around constantly. I think I paid her. <clears throat> I'm, a I'm a Who else could it be being? <laughs> I can't. I can't drink. I can't even thrive. I'm a little teenish. <laughs> okay, oh, I can't oh do that. God. I can't keep doing wow. that. Wow. All right. <laughs> Still, looks like we're all out of moves now. Chief Gates done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? Blackmail. He's so cool. Yeah, I'm blackmail. <laughs> it's not fair he has the right to refuse to testify. <laughs> Settle down, right? No. Calm, calm down. Calm down. Remember what the judge said? But Chief, that is an honor right to be casually invoked. Wow, robot. There are certain risks to be considered. <laughs> <laughs> I 
risks. What did he mean by that? It's simple. Even you would understand. If the okay. chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You can't defend? Yeah. Is this Lana? You me. Or Gumshoe? Well, Gumshoe is I'm... just here, so we would know yeah. who's him. Is you mean Lana or Emma? He forfeits his right to say anything to. It's me! <laughs> Did you like my wow, impression you of my like sister? Your sister. Thanks. Man, everybody's doing a fucking impression of me. Is it that easy? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Emma, are you okay? No. Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. Yeah, I mean, Sing. killed a guy, but I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be alright with a few years of therapy, maybe. I'll be okay. <laughs> I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Yep. Um, Emma? I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow... Relieved that I killed a man. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. I killed a man. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> to think that all this time... My sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man! And she did it all. Just to protect me. She does like me. <laughs> Ever since her appointment as Chief Prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, what do I mean? What do you think I mean to follow Chief Gant's orders? She must have shut herself up deep inside force herself to do anything and everything the chief told her to do. Oh, look at that emotional intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> that must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. Well, she made the decision, so... Yeah. It's all because I... I murdered Mr. Marshall. Yeah, that was manslaughter. I murdered him! <laughs> hey! Don't go blaming yourself now! <laughs> if you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal! Yeah, Holy man! <laughs> if you participate society in society, curious! Curious! <laughs> <laughs> Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery. But he can't fool my memory! I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I... I see. Well... We get a bit get back! We better get back! We get a bit back! <laughs> it's time for the final act! Wow. It sure is time for the final act. <laughs> I'm losing it, pal! <laughs> Emma, why don't you wait... No. I'm going with you. God damn it! I gotta see this through the end, too! I wanna be there. Go sit in the gallery! Again! No, I wanna be right next to you when Lana oh tells God. the truth. I gotta sit up close and personal. Let's go, right. Time to end this. Together. Yeah! Together! To be continued. Yep, one more part. So, we've mm -hmm. got 20 minutes. Do we do part of the Does next it let part? you stop and save during? I, I mean, I guess we could start and wait till let's see do stuff and see if we can save it, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Let me save it again. <laughs> just because we talked and that meant you yeah. got a rest. Yeah, that, that yeah you never know. Right. Yeah, something happened.
Yeah. I got oh, oh, wonderful. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Now then! Mm -hmm. You, the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, please take the stand. There she is! Miss Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. Are you supposed to ask people for their name and occupation <laughs> instead of telling them? I am no longer asking. <laughs> <laughs> I am telling. <laughs> He's finally figured out that nobody's gonna tell him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you who you are, what you do. <laughs> I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But, Mr. Edgeworth. What? You already know everything. You know all that I've done these past two years. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, and? <laughs> so please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Skye. Damn. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course. The truth. Mm-hmm. Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. That's what I'm afraid of. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here on the floor. Don't mind me. No matter what happens, I'll always be the sister of a murderer. How do you think that makes me feel? <laughs> You're in it! Who knows what terrible things you did? I know what terrible things I did. Yeah, but I don't. Okay, not your business. But tell me. Turns out, all along, this wasn't to protect Emma. It was to protect her own image. Yeah. <laughs> Ellipses. Right. Now then, your testimony, if you will. I first, tell us about your relationship with Chief Gant. I'm very curious. Be specific. Oh. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Yeah, man. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. God, you dumbass. You gotta convince her. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Lie! Shut up! <laughs> liar, 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 pants on fire. <laughs> I don't want to hear that from a pizza-faced video game junkie. What? Oh my God. I'm a scientist. Stay out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What room? <laughs> Are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana... If this is true, then that means Chief Gant has nothing to do with this. We can go home and play Scrabble because it's game night. <laughs> That's what I've been telling you from the very beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. She's you sacrificing can't let them play herself Scrabble. because of me. <laughs> But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Hey, she's I lying. said that inside my brain. <laughs> I can read your thoughts, Phoenix. Thanks to my new uh, invention. What? <laughs> get out of my head. 
Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony! You're kind of making shit up, huh? Yep. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. Mm -hmm. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Yay. <clears throat> Okay, when I found Prosecutor Marshall's body... You are going to press her. In a hydraulic press. Fudge. <laughs> Who she's bitch? lying! Do it, Phoenix! Crush me! Oh, she's lying too. Crush me like the ant I am! She's a liar! You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. <laughs> Why'd you have to think about it? <laughs> I did a long pause there, Prosecutor. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. Really? It seems. On God? The Broken Prosecutor Award knife was stuck in the victim's body. Mm. What? <laughs> but Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. Uh-huh. Hey, why are you facing away from the court? <laughs> so you can't look in my eyes. <laughs> um, <laughs> judge, tell her she has to face the court. The courtroom. <laughs> Lana, you have to face the court. No! Let us Lana. see your beautiful face. <laughs> Show us that face. <laughs> the reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. It sure was. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change this statement. You mean... Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. <laughs> yes. Something like that. You're a bad liar. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? No, oh, I am a good liar. I lie all the time. <laughs> You're even lying right now. I am not lying. <laughs> Goodness. Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor a little distance away. Really? Mm. Yes. Look at her look off to the side. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. Man. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. Poorly, too. It's like All a lie just to protect me. Yeah. Lies damn my lasagna. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, puppy. God damn. <laughs> the heck was that? <laughs> you fucking growl barked. Damn. Dude. Yeah. He, he scared lies. the shit out of me. Yeah. He hates liars. <laughs> <laughs> so when you found the scene like this, what did you do? I lied. After all, is what everything boils down to. <laughs> hey guys, did Brittany get us yet? What? What? Brittany from fucking uh, Dream Life is what Blue was talking about. Oh. oh. No, that day. was a that was a one week thing. Yeah. yeah. No, Brittany get, won. We can go back to it, but. Back to this None of the save happened. Anymore. None yeah. of the save happened, and Brittany won. That's the that's the lore. She won. Yeah, Brittany took over the whole game. It's just Brittany's Brittany now. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Killed by a vicious stalker. <laughs> As it should. <laughs> yes. I broke off the tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, and then moved the body. That's a Rest. lot of steps. 
Yeah, press this whole thing. I did a lot of steps for murder. Yeah. And then you move the body. But why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. What does that mean? What? I'll see, yeah, Blue, we have text on screen now. We're really getting fucking fancy in this shit. Isn't that oh, cool? Yeah. We're becoming professionals. Yeah. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. Thank you. Uh, a compliment. My head isn't that bad. But Phoenix. maybe I ought to ask for the sake of the others. Uh, why did you move the body? I kind of expected there to be a question about his head. <laughs> it's like, Phoenix? Do I, I have a good head on my shoulders? What about my head? <laughs> Do you like my head? Hmm. Why did you move uh, the body is the answer. Yes. When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was. By Chief Gant's desk. Really? But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple! Is it? <laughs> Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason Miss Sky moved the body! <gasps> the pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. Present here the jar again. Oh, you mean this, this jar? You this lying bitch! Jar. <laughs> Miss Sky, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene where Neil Marshall was murdered? The yeah, very that's one. What we've been talking about, sir. <laughs> if that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have been in vain. Even so, I am compelled to bring to everyone's attention a significant contradiction within your testimony. Contradiction in my testimony? Yeah. You testified, and I quote, The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? A simple oversight, really. You see, <laughs> a message was written on this jar with the victim's blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have written his it in his final moments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. In order for the victim to be able to write his message on the jar, it must not yet have been broken before he died. Oh, oh my god. He couldn't have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. It would be really <laughs> hard. I'll say. Order! Order! Your Honor, it would appear... More information is needed in regard to this jar and its bloody message. We may be missing something critical here. Something critical? What's up, everybody? Chief. It's me. I'm the critical. <laughs> Chief Prosecutor. It seems you're as in the dark as we are. About the truth towards which we're headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. We, me and Phoenix. Us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very well. The witness may now continue her testimony. 
as to money. What a look. <clears throat> Can I really? Because I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> Stop lying. Why are you always lying? I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar. But it was dark in the room, and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were so large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. Uh-huh. You mean you were the one who wiped away the message in blood? You ruined the crime scene, you bitch! <laughs> I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. Which means it was legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Cool. Uh, the fragments were so large, so I'm sure I got them all. You're going to present that damned jar. <laughs> Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals a truth even you were unaware of. What? Well, we found the final piece of this jar in Chief Gant's safe. In the Chief's safe? But how? I knew it! She really didn't know! Ho oh, ho. Oh. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was still blood on it. But the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off of them. Yes, which leaves us with only one explanation. She's lying. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Mm -hmm. She's she lying because she really got there doesn't before know. you. Yep. <clears throat> what? Couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. <laughs> that may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. <laughs> Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. <laughs> They're in my mouth all along. <laughs> can you believe that? Incredible. I can't believe that, Your Honor. Have you forgotten, Your Honor? What am I saying? Of course you did. <laughs> When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. God. There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Gant. At the time, he was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break the jar? Have fun. The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact for two years? Yeah. Uh well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Put you on trial, man. <laughs> Wait, I am the one on trial here. <laughs> he forgot. <laughs> yeah, man, see now. I'm telling you. <sighs> Damon Gant arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness.
He proceeded to break the jar and purposefully hid one of the broken pieces. Question. What is this action called? <laughs> Everyone raise your hands. Yes, Phoenix. Fabrication of evidence. Good answer. <laughs> Thank you. But why would Chief can't do that? Because he's an asshole. Because he's a bad man. In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Lending her his aid, Gant helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark. Sparing Emma. And therein lies the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became the chief's puppet. Damn, she almost oh. bit her thumb Ouch. off! <laughs> that way I get hurt. No, I... I did it on my own. Please, sis. Stop trying to protect the chief. He's an asshole. I... I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't! It wasn't you, Emma! You didn't kill anyone! Holy shit, I remember- Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says! Oh. He's a stupid oh. dummy man! Excuse now, me! Now, now, only I can call him that. <laughs> Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients! Wow, okay. The inverse can be so said about prosecutors. prosecutors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Foul lies? Imagine that, coming from my own client. <laughs> I guess you do seem the type who likes to twist the truth. What? Excuse me? You hey. are kind of an untrustworthy bastard, Phoenix Wright. What? Wow. Now you're getting the rumors. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap! What? Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? <clears throat> Lana, maybe right after all. Mm. I was taking a drink. What do you mean, right? So you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright? Not about that! <laughs> Ms. Skye. Please testify once more. But... I'm Lana. Yeah, yeah. you are. <laughs> if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But, but I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Ms. Skye... If you will. One more testimony. I... I can't! There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Very well. I'll testify about what I really saw. And don't put me away for lying under oath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the witness may testify once more for the final time. Yep, last Tired one. of you people lying to me. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor's sword. It is 10, so I was thinking we stop, we stop here, it here, and then we could okay. start the testimony next week. Fuck yeah. Yeah? Alright. We're gonna call it there for tonight. Yep. Fuck Make yeah, sure gamers. 
check out our VODs, our social medias, etc. Mm -hmm. um, Remember, kids, sin hard. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sin oh, hard no. in time for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we stream every week. Sundays, 8 p.m. Central Time, somewhere around there. We we tweet on our, our Twitter account. Yeah. Me, well, uh, X, you know. Um, but you know what it is. Before we site. start streaming, so. Yeah, it's just at follow Circle that. Gaming. Yeah, follow it. Yeah. Sometimes we're crazy and we stream when the sun's still out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, we really that, get crazy. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty insane. Anyway. But, yeah. Join us yeah. next week for yeah. murdering Damon Gant <laughs> on camera. Thanks everybody <laughs> for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks.